Hi, I'm Sunshine and welcome back to my kitchen. For the next three tutorials, we are going to cook meat with fruit. It's not surprising, all over the world, many cuisines have done that, especially in the Middle East. But we are going to put a little twist in the tail, always towards the end. First, today we are going to make a mutton mousseline tart, served with a kind of a coleslaw made of cucumbers and carrots. So I have some cucumbers and carrots cut up in julienne's. I'm going to just mix them up a little. Beautiful. So very simple. I will take the juice of about half a lime into this. So we are going to take the juice of half a lime and I'm going to put in some salt. Not too much. Some pepper. Nice freshly crushed pepper and a tablespoonful of olive oil mayonnaise. You can use any mayonnaise that you want, but olive oil mayonnaise has got an amazingly beautiful flavor. Now I'm going to go in with my hands and I'm simply going to coat everything, the salt, the pepper, mayonnaise, the lime juice, and we are simply going to set this aside to marinate while we get on with our tart. Now we're going to make the tart shell. It's very easy to make this dough. You just take about uh, 175 grams of flour, about 85 grams of cold butter cubed. I put in a teaspoonful of nigella seeds and some chilled water. Just work it into a dough and leave it in the fridge for 20 minutes to rest. So here is our dough ready. What we are going to do is we are going to make two tart cases with this dough. We first halve it up. Put one half of it. Beautiful, soft, beautiful dough. Remember to rest it, otherwise the tart case becomes a little tough. We are going to put on some flour on the surface. I'm going to put on some flour on this. Wonderful. And we are going to roll this out. Do not be harsh with it. That is our tart shell rolled out. All we will do is put it on our rolling pin and very gently put it into the tart. We will now press down the edges. You may have a little less in corners. Just do a patchwork job. It won't show later. Just do a patchwork job and press it so that you can get the flutes of the tin on the sides, the pattern. And simply take the rolling pin and go over this. And here is your tart base rolled out and the tart tin lined. We're going to put this into the fridge again for about 10 minutes while we roll out the other one and line another tin. So we have two beautiful tart shells lining our tart tins. Remember the tip, always use cubed chilled butter. If you don't, the dough will become very fragile and fall apart. And also do not forget to put it in the fridge for 20 minutes. We have a fork. We are going to make little indentations in the tart shell so that when it is baking, it doesn't rise or become puffed up. Here we are. Now is a trick. You must have heard the word baking blind. Baking blind means that you do not fill the tart shells with any filling. All you do is take a little foil or oven friendly cake pin, put it inside the tart tin, put in weights. This is a little trick. Usually you use baking beans which are ceramic. But you may not have baking beans lying around in the house. So what I do, I take chickpeas or rice. These have enough weight and you can bake the tart shell with this on top. Simply take it off and then bake it again. 
And of course, you can use the chickpeas later. So that's a little tip. So I have lined my tart tips. Now these go into the oven for 10 minutes till they are brown on the edges. Then we take the baking beans out and again bake them for about five more minutes to dry out the base. Hi, so our tart shells are in the oven. What we are going to get on with now is the filling. So we have here a hot pan in which we are going to put in about one tablespoonful of olive oil and we have about 500 grams of mutton mince which we are waiting for the oil to heat up a little beautiful and we'll put in our mutton mince remember be careful the mince may have a little water in it and what we are going to do we are going to move this around a little break down any big chunks with the wooden spoon So our mutton mince is beautifully browned. We're going to take it off the heat and put it aside to cool a little. While we take another pan, we're going to heat this up. We're going to take in a little olive oil in this also. Again about a little tablespoonful and move it around to heat it. As long, as soon as it is hot, we're going to put in some onions, chopped about one large one some paprika to go with it I'm making it a little uh, spicy because I like spicy but as I keep saying you must be bored of hearing me saying it always adjust it according to your taste some salt some pepper just a touch because we have enough of heat in it and move this around and saute it till it gets a little color <coughs> while this is happening let's go back to our tarts and let's see what has happened to them so I have taken the tart bases out of the oven and we are going to have a look at them because I think they are brown Yes, the edges are brown and all you do is with the help of the foil, pick out the baking beans and put them aside. Please do not worry if a few fall off, just pick them off. Now as you can see, my tart base is still very wet. It has still got no color on it. So this I will put back in the oven for 5 minutes to dry out. So and here I am back, beautifully, my onion is getting brown, what I will do is put in a little tomato puree, about a tablespoonful, I have already seasoned it and cook it out so that there is no raw tomato taste in it and re-add my mince, the cooked mince. Mix them well. And let this saute for another 5 minutes. So, this is cooked down and beautifully blended. In case, in case your mix becomes a little too dry, add a splash of water. It will do nothing to the taste. While it is still warm, I am going to put in the parsley. It's about 2 tablespoonful of chopped parsley. And mix it in while the mixture is still hot. Now we are going to cool the mixture a little and we are going to go back to our tart bases and see how they are. So our beautiful tart cases are out of the oven. As you can see, they are perfectly brown on the sides and they have got that biscuity texture. We will come back to this. We just let them cool a little. Our mince mix is already cooled. We are going to put in some cream in it. About 400 ml and very carefully blend the whole thing so that it becomes amalgamated. The next step, let's remove this, is we have got a blender or a kitchen processing machine or as we used to call it a robocoop. We are going to 
make this entire mutton mince into a kind of a paste. So what do we do? We pour this into the blender. And we are going to blend this first with the cream and the parsley and the onions. Let's see. Mm, amazing. We are going to take two eggs. I prefer usually, if I am not in a hurry, to break the eggs into a ramekin or a bowl because there is always the danger here of eggshell falling in. So there are eggs are added. And our musulan mix is ready for the tarts. So we are here, with lovely cocoon, go back to our tarts and we have here some sliced pears, pieces of sliced pears, very thinly sliced, which I had put in some lemon juice so that they do not oxidize. To these sliced pears, we are going to add a bit of ginger powder, about a teaspoonful, some salt, again, about half a teaspoonful, and pepper, I love pepper, especially if it's freshly ground, a teaspoonful of pepper. And we are going to very gently, because these are very thin, mix them around a little. Here we come to the tart shells. What we are going to do, we are going to put pear slices at the base of the tart shell. Very nicely. We are going to do this with the other tart shell too. Done. And the, as I just told you, there is a twist in the tail and here our twist was the ginger powder. It tastes absolutely amazing. After we have done this, we have reserved some for the top of the tart. We are going to fill the tart shells with this musseline mix. Don't fill them up too much because they may tend to rise because of the eggs. Now we get some really pretty decent slices of pears and take the trouble to distribute them beautifully on the top. <clears throat> Wonderful. That's done. And these go back into the oven to bake for about 20-25 minutes. Our tarts are out and I'm trying to get them to cool down a little before I present them. Because these look amazing and I know they'll taste amazing. Alright, now for the presentation. I will very carefully present the tarts. This is great for a buffet, this is great for a picnic, this is great for a family lunch. Be a little careful here. Yeah. Oh lovely. I will finish it off with a little sprinkling of paprika on top. Okay, and remember our shreds of carrot and cucumber which we had put into lemon juice and a touch of mayonnaise. We are going to present it on the side for a beautiful texture that we will get out of it and put some more paprika on top of this. And this is your mutton musaline tart ready with homemade coleslaw.